Lance Lamar. And as far as you can see across the Brazos Valley, this is the home of the 12th man, and this is Aggieland. And tonight, more Aggies than ever. 106,000 have packed here into Kyle Field to see Texas A&M coming off that big win against South Carolina. Hill looking to go up top and go up top big right away, and there's Noel. A great pass right there. You saw the safety bite and a standard quarters look. Tell he's comfortable, and you can tell he knows exactly what to do in this offense. Josh Reynolds picked that one up off the turf. And the first running play of the night, and it's a good one for the Aggies. Trey Williams, 13 carries a week ago. And on its opening drive, Williams finds the end zone. So they'll go on fourth and 13. Barry extends the play. What a flip down the sideline. And inside the five yard line goes Michael Handy. From Looks like one. pressure here. Yes, sir. Hill just stood right in there and looky there. Touchdown, AM. That's just too easy. All out pressure on the right side. You have no one behind you. You have to come in under. You're going to be getting man in the back end. Barry gets another chance and hands it off. And boy, stopped right in the hall. Speedy no. Back to receive the punt from Caronco, and it's not a good one. Oh, and did it hit an Aggie? I saw a player. And so first, it was a roughing the passer penalty. Now an inadvertent touch. And how about an AM takeaway? That's just tremendous defense right there. As soon as you have a difficult circumstance that happened to you. Hill, seven of nine, 122 yards and a score. And there's another AM runner breaking tackles. He doesn't and think I they miss. exist. James White, the red shirt freshman out of Pearl in Texas. What a nice delivery by Hill. And up the near sideline, it turns into six more for the Aggies. South Lake Carroll to South Lake Carroll. Kenny Hill to Sabian Holmes. Ma uh, Mastro Giovanni and Matthews back there. Matthews that hit dangerously high. Here's Noel with room. And a burst. Oh, finally wow. tripped up. What an unbelievable return, and he will take some heat for this. Josh Lambeau on now to attempt the 20-yard field goal, and he knocks it through. They can be contributors, and they're using them the correct way and getting them on the edge and protecting. Boy, there is another running back that got on the edge for a and a little something, something after the play. Handled the delay, and they've played exceptionally well and gotten off to another fast start like we've come to expect from the Aggies. Oh, what a nice ball from Hill. Rolling left, he gets his shoulders around, and once again, you see the accuracy and the comfort he has within Jake Spavadol's offense. Hits the receiver right in the face mask, and that is exactly where you want to put it. Hill again. Sabian Holmes with that grab. And look how quickly AM goes to work. Did he get the feet down? Yes. Edward Pope, touchdown, Aggies. That is such good. Having something to do in, in order to decide who their starter was going to be. This time, Allen on the roll. And that is a nice, it, it almost looks like a little flip. But he was just so under control as he found. Aggies only rush three. And that's a nice completion. Josh Davis on for the second time tonight. It's a 41 yard attempt. And it's no good.
We send you now to the studio for the Regions Bank halftime report. Lamar won the opening toss and received, so AM will get the football to start the second half. And the squid kick picked up by Speedy Knoll. Come on, are you kidding me? He picked up the squid kick. It seems he does from a negative standpoint consistently is when he misses, he misses high. Going to the end zone. Wow. How about that grab by Malcolm Kennedy? You just high point the ball anytime it's a potential jump here, but try to absolutely keep that in mind. That's a nice, nice play. Reynolds, who has made some tough catches. AM trying to punch it in again. White to the goal line, and he's in. Allen under pressure. That's a nice ball and even a nicer catch. And it's white again. And Texas A&M decided to strike lightning quick just like that. Touchdown. Not just this year, but in the years to come. Harvey takes the punt at his own 30. And he's got some folks in front of him. Keeps getting blocks and finally brought down just inside the Lamar 39 yard line. We saw the coordinator Jake Spavital as he sent most of his twos out there, including the heralded freshman Kyle Allen, who finds to the Aggies. Allen up top. And Niederhofer had one called back earlier, but he gets one tonight, and it's the first collegiate touchdown pass for Kyle Allen. And this is just a great. And even though he's got a great system, Kevin Sumlin knows it starts with that recruiting. Barry in all kinds of trouble, and all he could do is throw it into the end. And you can tell. Just how special Kyle Allen is, but Kenny Hill has responded again. Speaking of responding, how about that touchdown? Laquaviante Gonzalez, 33 yards on the score. Someone his staff are doing what Art Bryles and his staff are doing. There's so many teams across the state that have been fantastic. Another team, the state of Texas. Larry. And Barry in trouble on third and 11. And he just flipped that out of bounds. Time. Yeah. And I knew he would have success at this level, but what he's done to start his career has been nothing short of amazing. Dozo! How about that? You think this team likes each other at all? Look at this celebration. Look at the guys on the sideline. How close do you think this group of young men are? And Kenny Hill was right up there in the front. It's amazing to see these guys. They are so happy for each other. And you can sense that they were told all offseason by their coaching staff, by the media. <laughs> Look they at those all. He's gassed. <laughs> so I love seeing that. That's awesome. I love seeing that. This was a group that was told all off season. Ugh. Oh, well, you lost Johnny. You yeah. lost Mike Evans. What are you going to do? Your defense is last in from the get go. And they won't get another playoff. And Texas A&M jumps up from 21st in the country to ninth. And on a night when two teams in the top 10 go down, A&M puts 73.